name is Trent Patterson. I am a project engineer here um, and we'll be going through all this information with you. So as we kind of get started here, so what exactly is reverse NC? Um, so this is going to be a feature that allows the user to import posted NC code back into SigmaNest to help diagnose uh, any issues that you are seeing with the NC. Um, so this could be on your controller or just after you post it out. Um, this also gives you the ability to recover geometry um, if a part file has been lost as well. So how this works all in all, um, what you'll do is you'll take your imported G code that you've already posted out. Um, it will go into, you'll import it through the reverse NC option. Um, and then what you'll get is uh, in seed parts or nest. So this is be this can be where you can check on the part. Um, you can also create a part from this, um, so on and so forth. So now with this, um, there is some limitations of reverse NC. So this does not work with the following. <clears throat> um, so bevel programs, uh, just because we're not able to bring over. Uh, the beveled edges, things of that nature after it's been posted out. Um, punching machines, just because the NC contains point information um, that can't be brought back over. Machines with reposition, so that's just telling the machine how to actually move, um, can't be brought over with the uh, NC import. And then also machines with subprograms. <coughs> so with this, how do you actually set it up? So Every installation comes with Rev NC processors. Um, this is going to be located in the SN data under the Rev NC folder. So a dot rev. From there, you'll open the rev file with Notepad or Notepad plus plus. You can then modify in the rev to match the NC code of the machine. So example like flame on is uh, mo4. And then the machine post will have this information, um, but just be careful not to make any changes to the post processor. You're only making changes to the .rev file. So kind of taking a look at that, uh, we'll take a look at SigmaNest and we'll kind of show you how this information gets imported. So if we go into our tools help, SN data. And I go down here to my rev and C. So I will pull up my plasma.rev. I'll open it with Notepad. And then I already have my plasma.pst located here as well. So the information that you want to be looking at, that we'll take a look at um, here in just a little bit. So this extension file information here, this is going to be where you're actually matching up to what your post processor is posting out. So for our plasma, it's a .txt. Um, if we had anything else, it would be like a .nc, .cnc. That's where this information would be posted here in the extension file. Um, flame on and flame off. This information will be what you're going to get from the post processor itself. So if I just do, so if I do plasma on, we can see here MO4 and MO3 are going to be our information here for flame on, flame off. Same thing kind of goes from absolute and incremental. Uh, you want to find the G codes that call out that in your post processor. Now continuing on here, so what is this feature and how exactly can I start using it? So under the workspace tab, you're going to click the drop down for import. You're going to click on reverse NC import. You're going to select the correct file extension. You're going to select the NC file import. And then you're going to let cl left click twice on workspace to actually post that part. So going back into SigmaNest here, we'll take a look at that. So if I go into import, you'll see right here where it says reverse NC code. What it's talking about, that correct file extension is down here. So these are going to be our different um, reverse NC file types. For this example, like I said, we're just going to use the plasma. 
So I can grab this one right here and click open. You're going to be brought with the converter. And then over here, it's going to show like the reverse NC code. So if I left click once, we'll see the part. I can still move this around, but if I let left click twice, I can actually put that part down. I can check on the NC. And then you can also, like I said, make this into a part if need be. We also have the ability to bring over complete nest. So if I go back into my reverse NC code, and we'll just say I want to use 19. So if I click open, it's going to go through and show how many lines and arcs and tell me that my process was completed here. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And then what we're agreed with here is the whole nest, just like the part. If I try to move this around, I still can. Once I left click again, it'll actually place it. And then you can actually check and see how your NC looks after it's been posted out. Um, so some troubleshooting tips uh, that we'll commonly see with reverse NC. So what happens if you can't see the NC file? So you just want to make sure that you have that correct file extension like I was showing with um, on um, Notepad++. You want to make sure the extension up top like the .txt is matching what you're actually posting out with inside of Sigma Nest. Um, let's just say you also imported a bunch of circles or incomplete geometry. So for that, you want to change the arc center to ABS or incremental. Um, so absolute or incremental. So right inside of here. So if we're in our plasma.rev file, um, 102, our arc center. If it's coming in with incomplete geometry or just a bunch of circles, uh, try changing this. So if it's absolute, try changing it to incremental um, and then vice versa. And then what happens if it imports nothing? So that you just want to make sure that you're using the correct rev file. So if I were to go back inside a Sigma nest, and I go back into import reverse NC code. So we know how our plasma worked, but if I was on bevel.txt and I do the same part, so the P278 and click open, you'll see here where it says lines and arcs zero. So it's trying to use this bevel.rev even though we assigned it or we were using it with our plasma. Um, so that's just one thing to take into consideration where if you're importing things, it's not coming through and it's not giving you information here, uh, then it's probably not going to actually import anything. So with this, we do also offer alternative options. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, but unfortunately does not work for you, um, you can speak with some of our services members about setting up a file or a converter um, or convert a part library for you. Um, this is something that you would just need to speak with your sales rep on to get a quote on uh, something like that. Uh, but we do have alternate options to just our reverse NC as well.